hello everyone welcome back to the channel welcome back to a tutorial video this one is going to be about how to overclock slash undervolt your gpu uh, so generally uh, this video is towards the people who are having like high temperatures in their gpu and also high wattage usage and also those people can use who like to overclock their gpu for a little bit more performance uh, so right now it's winter here and i use this tool or guide to overclock my gpu and get a little bit room heat because uh, it's about 9 to 8 degrees celsius uh, in here so without wasting any time let's start this video first you need these two tools two tools uh, heaven benchmark and msi afterburner both of this link will be pasted in the description download these two tools and then after that first uh, run the heaven benchmark first run the heaven benchmark and select the api to directx 11 quality to ultra and everything on high or maximum whichever you can set because we want to push that gpu to the maximum when we test the benchmark and uh, every other setting don't enable this stereo and any other thing anti-aliasing you can set on itx uh, you, you want to run a little bit lower than your native resolution because you want to use other app while this is running on the background so my resolution is uh, 1080p but i'm gonna run it on 900p so that i can operate other app uh, within this so uh, one thing uh, i will tell you that uh, this tutorial works on every gpu like amd nvidia intel and also you don't have to be on the um, msi aio card like this is msi afterburner software but you don't have to be on the msi uh, brand uh, card uh, to use this soft, uh, tutorial this works on every uh, single aio brand of gpu out there okay so now i have run the tutorial uh, sorry the benchmark and here as you guys can see my rtx 2060 is being used 70 uh, yeah 98 percent at 1980 megahertz uh, with uh, power uh, consuming like 150 watt and yeah 150 watt and the core clock is around uh, 7000 uh, megahertz no not the core clock the memory clock the core clock is here core clock is 1965 and memory clock is 7000 and power is around uh, 150 and the temperature is a little bit climbing here like 65 66 so what i'm gonna do i have previously created a profile first i'm gonna show you the result like what you can achieve with this tutorial then i'm gonna get to the point so i have applied the power saver profile now as you guys can see the gpu has dropped from 150 degree to uh, 150 watt to 100 watt and the temperature has also a uh, little bit declined to around 60 degree from 65 to 67 and also uh, you guys will notice that the core clock has uh, declined a little bit like uh, 1960 to 1845 but the performance i lost there is recovered here like this was uh, previously around 7000 megahertz i have overclocked it to 8000 and now uh, i am getting uh, the performance i lost here i am getting the performance back here so it's basically the same performance um, but the lower usage of the watt and lower temperature okay so this is the um, result which will which you can get also i will show you another profile which is my overclock profile so i will apply the overclock profile not this one i think the middle one okay yeah this is the overclock profile so here as you guys can see the core clock has reached over uh, 2010 and the power is also around uh, 150 uh, again the same 150 but a uh, previously around 150 watt i was getting like uh, 1960 or 1950 but now i'm getting around uh, 2000 and 2010 so this is also a custom profile temperature has also rise to 70 degree and memory clock has been also overclocked so this is the overclock profile uh, this will consume power a little more than the power saver but this will result in uh, more performance um, okay so let's begin the tutorial first open up msi after burner and if you want this kind of uh, on-screen display you need to install the river tuner that comes with the msi afterburner while installing msi afterburner select the river tuner and click yes now i'm gonna reset the profile it's back on stock like everything is on stock i have reset it here everything is on stock like when the factory reset uh, now you want to switch to this kind of uh, skin uh, for more accessibility i find found this skin more uh, usable <coughs> after uh, opening msi afterburner 
uh, you can find what uh, I will show you your skin will be something like uh, your skin will be something like this what you need to do is go to setting after that go to user interface then select uh, this one msi touch of afterburner skin a touch of modern afterburner by direx design click on apply hit ok now you will get to this skin the benchmark is running on the background now uh, what i want you to do is click on this graph as soon as you click on the graph a new pop-up window will appear let me reset it uh, a new pop-up window will appear and you will see a um, curve graph like this and here I, as you can see this straight line uh, this is the uh, current state of your gpu like uh, how many uh, megahertz it's running and how many millivolts is it consuming so this is the voltage graph and this is the um, megahertz graph so right now it's around uh, 90 uh, 1900 to 2000 so yeah it's around 1950 so as you can see 1950 here and the power it's consuming is like 10 uh, the the graph is uh, touching here like uh, 1025 millivolt so what i need to do is lower this voltage from here to maybe here here and even here if your gpu is good like if your chip card silicon is good you can uh, get to even this point so what i need to do is uh, right now monitor the first monitor the uh, core clock which your cpu is running at like for me it's 1935 so i'll need to lower it a little bit and then lower the power also to do that like the current voltage is uh, 1025 so i'll get a little bit lower see the power consumption here 160 watt so from 1025 i'll get to 975 hold shift button on the keyboard and left click drag your left click to the right side from this point from uh, at which you want to set your uh, current voltage click on this then press shift plus enter and enter a core clock which you want to set like right now it's 1935 i'll set to 19 uh 1920 at this and hit enter after that close this graph notice this power uh, consumption and then hit on apply as soon as i hit apply you will see there's a little bit power drop on the uh, power chart so i will tell you two things from here you can go on your own you can try and fail and then retry uh, on your own or you can place a safe bet uh, trusting on your gpu like for me my gpu gets to 850 uh, millivolt at 130 um, core clock without any issue uh, but your gpu uh, might won't do that your gpu's card quality silicon quality uh, won't uh, can be even better than me or can be even worse than me so depending on your gpu you will want to go one step by step like first you set 975 then you will set uh, 950 so first i'm gonna show you again 950 uh, i'll show you again uh, click on 950 after that hold shift then left click then drag it left the uh, mouse uh, drag the mouse to the left then again click on it and shift plus enter and then set the core clock like 1845 i'll set this to 1875 then hit enter oh sorry you need to select a point in between the graph in between the blue area shift enter 75 okay now notice the power again as you can see the power has also dropped like four to five uh, watt there uh, so you need to keep doing this uh, until uh, you crash like after five minutes of running the benchmark uh, so i will show you just uh, my card's capability like i am running an uh, zota cartex 2060 uh, so I'll set this from the 1850 850. I'll select this then drag then select any point in between press shift plus enter and 100 and 18 and 18 and 30 then press enter close press click on apply now notice the power it has dropped to 105 watt uh, this is like the topest scenario like when the GPU is being used 99% rest of the time when a GPU is used like 80 to normal 90 uh, below 90 the power will be even less like 80 to 85 watt if you are using an rtx 2060 if your card is different then your power consumption will be different but it will be lower uh, okay now the core clock part is done you need to try and uh, find your sweet spot 
after that we can come back to the memory so the most modern graphics card can do uh, 500 to 700 uh, memory clock without an issue so first i'm gonna enter the 500 you don't need to need any curve to uh, edit this just click on the memory clock enter 500 press enter and then hit apply and you will see that it has reached from uh, 7000 to 7500 it was previously 7000 you can rewind the video to 10 seconds back and you can see this one on uh, 7000 so my card can do uh, 1000 uh, megahertz on the memory without issue so i'm gonna enter that but uh, you can do what you can do is enter the 500 first hit apply then run the benchmark like two minutes if it doesn't crash then you can set to 700 then again hit apply then run the benchmark like two minutes if it doesn't crash then you can again go to like 800 then 900 then 1000 and even some cards uh, prefer to overclock the memory like uh, 1200 like 1200 but my card doesn't do that much uh, my card so which is spot is 1000 megahertz so 1000 on the memory and the core is a little bit lower like 1960 to uh, 1845 uh, and then hit apply and now as you can see from 7000 it has reached 8000 and the core clock is a little bit lower like 80 to 90 uh, megahertz but the power has dropped tremendously like uh, 108 to uh, 105 this is the under volting mm, so now <coughs> Mm, this is the under this was the undervolting and now i'm gonna show you how to overclock uh okay so first i'm gonna reset again the card is at the mm, basic stock mm, now uh what you can do there is two step uh, two method of overclocking uh if you have headroom of temperature like your card doesn't reach uh 70 75 what you can do is direct overclock without uh, any thinking or without any uh, knowledge like you can hit this here and after that press 50 or 20 or 40 whichever uh, your cards uh, power uh, overclock is like mine is uh, 1950 so if i uh, increase 50 megahertz on the core clock it will reach 2000 so my card can do 2000 so i'll enter 50 and then press enter and then click ok i don't need to open any chart so i entered 50 but it's only got like uh, 45 that's because of the temperature headroom my card is reaching uh, my temperature limit like 83 that's why it has reduced so this was the simple method of overclocking the core and you can also overclock the memory too by entering thousand uh, or whatever your card suits then clicking on uh, apply so this is the quickest method of overclocking without any power reduction and now i'm gonna show you uh, how to uh, overclock slash undervolt at the same time so you need to go to the graph again and you can see uh, how many megahertz it is running like it's 1950 okay so i want to do i want to reach like uh, 2000 so let's say 2000 megahertz and the power is also like 160 i want to reach this to 140 to 145 so what i'm gonna do is uh, get a little bit lower power with the uh, increased core clock to do that i need to find the current state of the graph like it's touching somewhere here uh 1025 maybe so what i'm do gonna do is get back two points like 975 i select the 975 then hold the shift then left click and drag the mouse to the right then click any graph on this point then press shift plus enter and from 1950 i'll set this to 2000 and uh yeah i'll set this just on 2000 so what I, what I have done is the card will consume 975 megavolt when it reaches 2000 megahertz clock okay so close it and click on apply notice the power and the core clock click on apply and now as you can see it has not reached 2000 like it is 5 megahertz uh, lower i will increase it a little bit Two thousand ten, maybe so it has increased even more so here as you can see uh, 2025 core clock and the power is also a little bit lower like it was around 160 and now it's around 150 but you have to consider uh, mm, engine has crashed because it was a little bit unstable overclock uh, so yeah your uh, engine will sometime crash the benchmark engine will sometime crash if your uh, overclock is unstable so you need to reset and uh, start from a sweet spot again so what i'll do is uh, apply 970 and i'll set this to 1995 this was a stable for me and hit apply and also i'm gonna overclock the core by uh, memory by thousand okay so after you have done this uh, you need to create a profile uh, just uh, unlock this part click on save button and select whichever you want mine is first uh, i have saved one three and five so now i'm gonna save to two 
after that you can lock this profile and if you want this overclock to apply on boot you need to unlock again select that profile which you want to be applied on boot like for me i want uh, profile 3 to be applied on boot select on 3 then uh, select on 3 first this light will be off like this will be grayed out select 3 then click on this and the light will come on like this will glow in blue after that hit apply and then lock the profile so this profile will be applied on startup uh, i'm gonna run it again just to show you guys the overclocking setting mm, there as you can see it has reached uh, 2025 again i was set it to uh, 1995 maybe but still it reached 2025 because it has now temperature headroom it can boost even further and the power is also little bit lower uh, so yeah download this software tweak a little bit get some error get some trial retry reset and you will sometimes uh, in the future you will reach your uh, target uh, like in overclocking and undervolting uh, i know this video got a bit long but uh, i tried to explain everything in detail so if this does help you uh, subscribe to the channel if you need any help comment down below i'll leave the discord link and we can discuss in more details in there so yeah guys thank you uh, i'll see you guys in the next one